Hello, I'm Space Force Second Lieutenant Olivia Krauss, stationed at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California, where we like to say there's never a day without space operations. A big part of making sure things like GPS and other information and communication satellite systems are safe and operational is to track and monitor space junk. Now let's be clear, space junk is not extra garbage or trash that is launched into outer space. It is a term that refers mostly to man-made objects that are in orbit around Earth that are no longer used and that we have no direct control over. Space junk could be pieces of launch rockets, pieces of spacecraft that have broken off the main body, or even leftover satellites that have completed their mission are no longer working, but are still in orbit. At this very moment, there are literally thousands of pieces of space junk in orbit around the Earth. So how do we track all of this space junk? Isaac Newton's three laws of motion are as relevant today as when he presented them hundreds of years ago. Their basic ideas help us predict and track the movement of space junk. Let's hear what First Lieutenant Adams has to say about the laws of motion. So in order to understand why the space junk stays in orbit, let's talk about Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law says that objects at rest will remain at rest, and objects in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. So once we have an object that's in orbit, it will continue to be in orbit unless acted upon by an outside force. One of these forces could be the atmosphere pushing against it, but that only applies when the satellite or object is really low. If the object is really high, it will continue to be in orbit for a very long time. So now that we've talked about the first law of motion, let's talk about the second law of motion, which says that force is equal to mass times acceleration. It means that larger objects require more force to move around than smaller objects do. One example of this is when the ISS, the International Space Station, is at risk for coming close to a piece of debris. It takes an incredible amount of force to move around such a large object, as opposed to a smaller satellite. I'm not sure if you noticed what the lieutenant was holding, but here's a closer look. This is actually a full-size satellite that has not been launched into space yet. As small as it seems, a piece of space junk this size can do some major damage if it were to collide with an operational satellite, spacecraft, or the International Space Station. Let's head back to the lieutenant for the third and final law. Let's talk about Newton's third law which says that for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. To get something into orbit, you place it on a rocket, and that rocket has to exert a force in the opposite direction that you want the object to go. And this ties right back into Newton's first law, which is that it will continue to be in that orbit. So how do we keep track of all this? The Space Force has a large network of radars and telescopes all over the world. And our mission at 18 Space is to take this information and put it out into the public so that everyone can have a better understanding of what's happening in space. Well, I hope now you have a better understanding of what space junk is, how Isaac Newton's laws apply to objects at rest and in motion, and one of the missions of the United States Space Force.